I have a new addition to the shoestring shipyard fleet and this was quite unexpected but I came across a post on the uh, Facebook marketplace and it had just been posted within minutes when I first started looking I just checked there periodically just to see what's going on and to my surprise it was a Mirage 5.5 20 foot sailboat and it was being offered for free the only caveat is that it was about seven hours drive away down in Massachusetts. I'm way up in the northern part of Maine on the seacoast, but it looked too good to pass up. So I immediately contacted the person that was offering it, and, uh, and that was on Monday. Uh, today is Wednesday. Yesterday on Tuesday, I just jumped in the truck at around six in the morning, and I just boogied on down there. and. Uh, well, let me show you what I have. Here it is. It's the Mirage 5.5. It's uh, 20 feet overall. And it came with this uh, uh, very nice galvanized boat trailer. It was all for free. It has brand new tires on it. The owner had just replaced them uh, well within this past year. And it did come with a mast and a boom, although they are not the original mast and boom to go to this boat. But I'm sure that they can be modified and made to work. And I was also given a tiller and a rudder. Neither one was original to the boat, but again, they can be made to work. And yes, it needs a little bit of cleaning and elbow grease to put her into shape. But uh, after doing a cursory inspection, the hull seems to be very sound, solid, and it doesn't seem to really need anything, no major repairs. It's just all minor stuff and mostly cosmetic. Well, the price was right. And this little boat towed very well with uh, behind my truck. And I only have a, you know, I have a little GMC Canyon that only has a four-cylinder engine in it. And, uh, I had no problem. I could do 70 miles an hour plus on the main turnpike uh, without any strain or pain to the to the truck, and it didn't uh, swallow up much more gas than it normally does. So it towed very well. It's a nice little boat, and these were actually built for racing. Uh, they were built to uh, IOR racing rules, and. There is a class for them. The, uh, I think they fit into what they call the mini ton class. And there is an owner's group for these boats. And I guess most of their events are further south, but that's okay. And they were very popular. And I think the last ones that came out of the mold were back in 1985. They made them for a few years. They made a few hundred of them. But uh, it's in nice shape, and it's really not missing anything all the uh, all the various winches and cleats and so forth and blocks and they're all there so not a problem it even has a little bracket for a small outboard and these boats will handle well with just a you know two horsepower two to four horsepower little kicker and uh, so getting in and out of the marina and the only thing wrong with this is that it has some rotted plywood on the pad, but that's not a big deal. We can take that right off and put a new one on. The rest of it looks pretty good. So a little bit of sanding, a little bit of paint. This is not the right trailer for it, but it's overkill. It's, it's a much bigger, heavier trailer than needed, but it does the job. The only thing is, is that it has rollers. It's more for a semi-V power boat or something, but I can take those off and put bunks on, uh, you know, add bunks to it, so give it better support on the hull. It's not good to have those rollers against the hull. But this boat is so light, it doesn't weigh that much, so it's not really going to hurt it much. Um, it has a swing keel, so it only draws about a foot and a half or so, maybe a little better than a foot and a half, with the keel up, and when you drop the, sw the swing keel down, it draws a little over five feet and then has uh, pretty good windward performance. As always, please like, share, subscribe. 
add a comment in the comment section. That all helps my channel out, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, there's more to come about this boat, and uh, as well as the new boat I'm building. Lots of good stuff ahead. Thanks for watching.